Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. B. Welcome back to Reading the Bible with Mrs. B. I sure hope you're enjoying the Old Testament stories so far. They are so intriguing. It's very good to know what happened in the beginning. So today's story is about the father of faith. His name is Abraham and the story is called Abraham's Journey. In a town called Haran, there lived a wise old man named Abraham with his wife, Sarah. Abraham had many servants and many herds of castle and much gold. That means Abraham was quite rich. He was quite wealthy. Sarah was strong and clever and very beautiful. Still, they were sad because they had no children. But one day, God came to Abraham and said, I want you and Sarah to leave this home of yours, bring your servants with you and bring your cattle and your gold for I will show you another place to live in a different country. And there your family will become a great nation, one that will bring a blessing to the whole world. Abraham was amazed, but without wasting time, he did as God had told him. It was a long, long journey through deserts and over rivers. And all that time, they did not even know where they were going. How amazing is that? Abraham and Sarah loved God so much, they obeyed what he told them, even though they did not fully understand. But they trusted that he was going to do a good thing. And we can do the same thing too. Sometimes we won't understand everything God asks us to do, but if we trust and obey him, then it's going to turn out for good. At last, they came to a pass between great mountains and looked out at the rich green countryside of Canaan. This journey took years and they finally arrived in the promised land. So this land shall be yours forever, said God. And as Abraham lay down to rest, God spoke to him again, saying, Look up at the stars, Abraham. Count them if you can. You have no sons or daughters now, but that is how many children will be born someday into your family. Wow, what an amazing story about the father of faith, Abraham. Thanks so much for joining me for today's reading and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.